I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. This version is the simplest to learn. So if you're new to the game, look for the lesson playlist below the video. In that playlist, there's a link to a player reference that will have instructions on the back and scoring on the inside. In this video, I'm going to practice decision making so that you can get an idea of what it's like to play the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out over here next to these risers. They've been mixed and built into walls. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking and discarding. I'm going to deal the tiles. East will get 14, south, west, and north will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles, so I'm going to look at each one and decide where the scoring can come from because usually when you play the game there's a fawn minimum a fawn is like a point so let's just say that we need three fawn to qualify to win which is pretty standard three or four fawn is usually what you find at most friendly games the game is played in four rounds so we'll say this is east round We have a bonus tile that we need to replace. This is a flower. It's a four flower. This is player one, so this won't bring score for that particular bonus tile for this player. We do get a replacement tile though from the back of the wall. We got a nine crack. So if three fawn is the minimum, here we have four dots, four bams, and three cracks. So, I just want to count how many terminals and honors we have. Terminals are ones and nines. Honors are wins and dragons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I'm thinking is because we have such a mixture here and we've got to get up to three fawn, I think I would hold bams and all the ones and nines. That way, if we happen to draw honors which are wins and dragons and terminals which are ones and nines we could play an honor hand if we draw bams then we can get rid of the terminals that are not in that suit so that's what i think we should try here for that plan we have four discards technically we have six or seven really so this is not a good start for this player Whatever direction I go in, I try to have four discards. To me, that's doable. Let's see what we can do now for South. This is the kind of start I'd like to have every time I play the game. Half flush, bams, honors. We have two pair here. Pair of South, which is the seat wind for this player. This is East player one, this is South player two, West player three, North player four. If you get a three of a kind of your seat wind, you get a fawn for that, which is a point. Here also is a pair of dragons. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. So this, if we get a pung, three of a kind, we get score for that. Here we have a potential pung, potential chow. One, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here is a pair. You need five blocks. So I think this is a fabulous start. We have a flower here. This is a bonus tile for a four flower. This is not their seat flower. So we have to exchange that and they will not get score for that. Two bam, another pair and potential pung. So now they have one, two, 
three, let's see, one, two, three, four pair, which can all become pungs. So let's see now what we can do for this player here. Oh, for score, all pung is three fawn. Half flush is three fawn. Pwn of dragons, one. Seat win, one. That would be an eight fawn hand, two away from the max. That's, that's going to be a nice hand if they can get there. For this player, we have no honors, no wins and dragons. We just have mixed suits, but we do have three pair. One, two, three. We could play, oh, four, four pair, all pung. Pungs are three of a kind. That is a three fawn. Even mixing suits, it's still three fawn, and that would meet the minimum. So I think that's what I would try here. All pung. And they have no flowers. That would be another fawn. If you have no flowers at all, that's a fawn. So this would be, at this point, four fawn. Let's see what we can do for north now. Let's exchange this bonus tile. That's a three flower. That's not going to give them any score either. Six dot. I think we should have them play probably half flesh also. Cracks and honors. They have five discards, so they need to draw really well. Okay, we're ready to go. We're going to discard for East. So we're going to look for BAMs, Honors, Terminals. We can get rid of all these. Let's discard the four dot. And we're going to draw for South. One crack. That's a discard. East. We're looking for all Pung. East is the wind of the round. That could bring score if we happen to draw another East. Let's discard the one crack since it was already thrown. And we can draw for, oops, East. Six Bam. We want cracks. That's the major suit here. Let's discard the one dot and draw for east. One crack. That's already been thrown twice, but it's an honor. I'm going to keep it. It's a terminal, which is part of the honor suit. Let's discard this eight dot. And we can draw for player two. Eight bam. That's a good tile. Pair, 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 pair. One, two, three, four, five. One more pair and we could play seven unique pair. Let's discard the four crack. Now we can draw four west. Two flower, that's not helpful. They just lost their no flower fawn. That's why you don't want to count on that as part of your Qualifier, because the minute you draw a flower that's not yours, that goes away. Two dot. We have one, two, three, four, five pair. They're in the same position as this player. So let's discard. Let's discard the east. Get rid of it early since we didn't pair up. Let's draw four north. Nine dot, not helpful. We need cracks really, or pairs, so we could pung. Let's get rid of the four bam. And we'll draw four east. They got a west, that's an honor. Winds, dragons, ones, nines. Let's get rid of this two crack. And now we can draw four 
south, north. That may or may not help. We need pairs or pungs. So we have pair two, five, eight, white, west, south, north. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. We have everything paired up. Let's get rid of the north. We don't need all these honors since we've got things, all these pairs lined up. Probably this red and west can go away too. Let's draw for west. Nine crack. Okay, we need to find some score here. We need three fawn. We have one, two, three, four, five pair. I think we should have them play all pung. So let's go ahead and discard the nine crack. We can draw for north. Now for north, we don't have any pairs in here. So all pung is gonna be a big stretch. We just discarded a nine crack. We could chow, but that would leave an isolated nine crack. I think we should just draw. We might be better off drawing another crack or maybe pairing up an honor. Nope, four bam, discard. Let's draw four east, two bam. Okay, now we have to make a choice. So we have, oh no we don't, not yet. We have a five crack we can get rid of, but pretty soon we're gonna have to choose either get rid of the simples, which are two through eight, or the terminals. Let's draw for south, nine dot. That's a discard. Oh, you know what? A north went down last go round. I could have punged it, but I think I was hoping to play terminals and honors. We can maybe recover from that mistake. Let's just keep going. We're gonna draw here. Three bam, that is a discard. And we can draw up here for north. Eight crack, that's a good tile if we try to get them to a half flush. Let's discard the six bam. And now we can draw four east. Eight dot, yeah, that's not a good tile. Let's draw for south. Five dot, that's a discard. Five dot, we're gonna pung, pung, three of a kind. Three of a kind right there. And we can discard, really all these can go away because we can pung all of these. Let's just, the four crack was discarded, let's go ahead and discard that. And now, we can draw up here, four crack. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Well, they got a flower. Two flower, no score. West, this may help them get to a half flush. So let's discard the seven bam. And we can draw for east. Now, seven bam, you know, let, let's go ahead and have them chow and give up on, eh, oh my gosh, this is a big hand though. Um, there's a hand called 13 Orphans. It's ones and nines of each suit. We're missing a one bam. Red, white, and green dragon, one of each of the wins and any tile paired. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towards that hand. That's 10 fawn. If we played a half flush, we have two, four, six, eight, nine, one less, and it is a three fawn hand. There's a north out, which we already have a pair, it's fine. There's a one east out. We have the tiles that are out for the rest of these. I think I'm gonna pass on it and try to play 13 orphans. Let's draw. One bam, that's part of 13 orphans. One and nine of each suit. 
We've got that covered. We need a red and a white dragon and then an east and a south. Let's discard this 2BM. And draw up here. Now this player can pong. And we can discard. We're, we have a pair, pair, there's a white dragon pair and a pair here. We've got all these pairs that can pung, pung, pung. So we can get rid of all these. Let's get rid of the red dragon. We're not going to be able to use it because we're already lined up with all these pairs that can potentially and hopefully become pungs. So red dragon went down. Nobody can take it. We just finished the second wall going into the third wall. We just discarded a red dragon for south. We're going to draw now for west. They drew a west. We're ready to pung. Just like this player here. Let's get rid of that west. And draw for north. Because nobody can take a west. Six crack. That was a good tile right there. Potential chow. Four six. Potential pung. 7, 8, 9, chow. This is isolated, or I guess you could do it like so, or maybe that could be a potential chow, potential pung, or potential chow. There's all kinds of potential here. A 5 crack would be really nice in here. So let's discard. Let's get rid of the offsuit. 3 dot and draw four east six dot we're going to draw four south red dragon that is unfortunate because a dragon pung is a fawn all by itself we're going to draw now four west one flower no score replacement Two dot, there's Pung, concealed. We don't have to expose that. You only expose Pungs or any call, any tile that you claim that's been discarded, that's when you make an exposure. If you draw to complete a set, you keep it concealed. Let's discard this eight crack. And we can draw four north. Three flower, no score. Three crack, that is a good tile for them. They have a potential chow in there now. Here's a pung or maybe a chow, potential chow, potential pung or pear. You gotta have a pear. Let's get rid of the six dot. They're looking good. We're gonna draw now for east. Three dot. So there's two red dragons out. This is looking more and more risky for 13 orphans. We may need to act on something with these bands. Let's draw for south. Four dot, that's a discard. Drawing for west, east, that's been discarded already. So now there's two east winds and two red dragons out. They need both. So we're going to draw now for north, six dot. Drawing for east, one or two crack. Don't need a two crack. We need bams or terminals, really red dragon or east. We're going to draw for south, seven dot. That's a discard. And we're going to pong. Pong for west. Now we're going to discard six crack. They're ready to win on a nine bam or a seven crack, one or the other. Six crack, that was a six crack. We're going to pung it. If we pung it, that leaves this to be used for a potential chow. 
Let's just pung. And we'll discard this nine dot. Now they are cleared to one suit with honors, half flush. Nine dot was discarded, we're gonna draw. One dot, <laughs> okay, you know, let's see here. If we discard these, we just got a pair in there. One, two pair. Oh, that's a major long shot. It's not helpful. I think I'd rather at this stage, third wall, I think we should give up on the big hand, especially because there's two Easts and two Reds out. We've got a lot of gaps. So let's go ahead and discard the nine dot and give up on 13 Orphans. If we pair up more, we could Pung, and I might just do that, even though it's mixed suits. It's okay to mix suits with Pungs, because that's a three fawn hand. Let's draw four south. Five crack, that is a discard. We're gonna draw four west. Seven crack, that's Mahjong, self-picked. Pair, Pung, 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 Pung. And they do have two flowers, but they're not, they're not their numbers. They need a three, a three flower. These are one and two, so that's not gonna work. But they did get all Pung, which is three fawn, and that qualifies for a win. For self-pick, everybody pays double. So three fawn is 500 points, so they would get a 1,000 stick from each player. So there's 1,000 from each player going to West. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Mahjong. It really is a lot of fun. It's very similar to Remy. So if you like card games, you would love Mahjong. Four sets and a pair. And then of course your score is based on the components within the hand. You can find out what those scores are if you download that player reference. It's all in there. And there are all kinds of resources online. You can just Google Hong Kong old style or Cantonese Mahjong. I'll leave a link below the video to a wiki. That might help too. It's pretty comprehensive. This player reference is kind of a, an abridged version. It's got basic setup and how to play the game on the back and then scoring. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.